Hey everyone, so many of you have been asking me how to reschedule a Microsoft Azure exam. So let me tell you the entire process in this quick video. So onto my computer screen. So first of all, you have to log into your Microsoft Learn portal, which is nothing but learn.microsoft.com. So as a first step, you have to log into the learn.microsoft.com. So let me sign in. So here it goes. Let me enter my email ID. So now you can see I've already logged into the Microsoft Learn portal. Once you're here on the top right corner, you can see your profile picture. Click on this and you will get to see this option which says profile. Click on that. Now you can see the entire details of your profile is loaded. Now once you're here, in order to reschedule your exam, you have to click on this credential options. Here you can see that credentials. Click on this and now you can see two options here. The first one is applied skills and then you have certifications. And in this certification tab, you will see all your scheduled exam. For now, I have one exam scheduled, which is designing and implementing a Microsoft Azure AI solution, which is nothing but AI 102. So let me scroll a little bit more. So here you can see other details of the exam, for example, the location. Now, just to tell you, there are two options when it comes to the location. The first one is online in which you schedule the exam using one of the options like Pearson VUE. The other option is offline, which is basically you go to the exam center, but I always choose this online mode and then you can also observe the time of your exam. So as of now, you can see my exam is scheduled at 5th of January 2024 at 1400 hours. Please note this time is always in your time zone and you can also note your confirmation code here. And now comes two very important options. Here you can see that we have two options. Let me zoom a little bit more so that you can see very well. So here you can see we have two options. The first one is cancel and the other one is reschedule. And I think the options are very self-explanatory. Cancel is when you have to cancel your exam. And in order to reschedule, you have to choose this option, reschedule. So this will open this new window here. So as you can see, it is loading your exam details. So now you can see it gives you an option to reschedule the exam. You can see here it says find the new appointment. It also tells you which exam you're doing this for. So here you can see I have to select a new date. So let's say that I want to select a new date and just for the demo purpose, let me choose a new date. Let me say 31st of January. Let me select that. And once you have selected the date, then it gives you the option to select the time. So here you can see that you can choose your time also. And of course, you can choose your clock preference, whether you're comfortable with the 24 hour clock or maybe you're comfortable with a 12 hour clock, which is basically AM or PM. So now you have to choose your time. So let me explore some time. Let me go for this one. I will just select some time and please note one very important point here that the exam is 120 minutes. So whatever time you are choosing, make sure that you have at least two hours, maybe a little more than that, but at least two hours. So let me choose a time. I will normally choose a time which is kind of in morning. So let me go for this one. But first of all, let me very quickly verify what is the day on the 31st of January. So basically it is Sunday. Okay, that suits me. I will go for the option 1145. So that's it. So now you can see that my exam is now scheduled for the 1145 till 1345. So as I said, the exam is for two hours. So now you have to choose this option, which says book this appointment. And once you have done that, so now it is processing our request. So here you can see that I have to select these online exam policies. I will say, okay, so this is one, this is second, then this is third party prohibition. Then we have limited license. We have to accept all of these facial comparison policy, testing space verification policy. So basically select all the options here and you can read all the Microsoft policies. You will understand the exam and the policies a little better. I really recommend you to read this policy in case you're doing this for the first time. Please read these policies, very important policies. For example, what are the acceptable forms of ID? So you must be knowing what are the valid identification proofs. Otherwise, otherwise you can be in a really tight spot in the real exam. So now let me just accept all of that and where it goes. So now you just have to click on this agree option. So let me click on this. Okay. So now it goes. Okay. It looks like there is some error here. I have to select. I think I missed to select some of the options. Let me select them all. Now let me go back and select agree once again. So here it goes. And now on this screen, you can review all the changes that you have done. Once you're satisfied with all the changes, your time, your date, 
then you can just go for the next here you can go for that voila so now your exam is rescheduled so this is the process for you to reschedule any microsoft exam i have taken the example of ai 102 but the same applies to any azure certification i hope this quick video would have helped you to understand the process of rescheduling the microsoft exam but still in case you have some questions doubts do let me know in the comment section you can also reach me at connectors at the rate the tech blackboard.com please do not miss to like and subscribe and also do share the videos with your family friends and all the colleagues so that they also are clear with the rescheduling process and that's all for today I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.